guys I was just gonna show you a quick easy way on how to install your upper door belt molding so you have seven holes I have six clips you should have all seven but I don't so here's the best thing I found to start at the front because you've got a curved piece right there and it's got to line up with that but I just roll this like so and you see you get your clips lined up all of them you get them all adjusted and then it's as simple as rolling it on top of all them holes and then snapping it into place And we got a clip that's broken, of course. I mastered the art of installing these dead on Jezebel. I may need to go check if I got a better one. Well, guys, I think that's where we're going to stop for today. Not going to fuck with drip rail molding, but we got these pieces on. I'm going to go ahead and tell you this piece is a son of a bitch. And I will find and probably decimate the dumb motherfucker who took this car apart all them years ago oh my god you have four clips that hold this rear trim in let me just show you see them holes supposed to be a clip there and a clip there somebody stole them which you know it's probably pretty common practice they broke or they fell out but still they're gone and that piece is held in with two screws because we don't have them but the car is coming together sorry if i seem agitated i've just been putting trim on all day for dad's car and nothing has gone right it's just been a pain in the ass you know we put that on but as you guys tell me in the comments you guys are super cool one piece at a time and definitely gonna try and stay uh positive but it's just a i hate trim we got to adjust this door because it's not sitting like it's supposed to, but we'll get that done. But hopefully you guys found something educational. We got to polish all this still. Not polish it, but clean it up nice. But yeah, you know, just a small little job. Took all, took all day to put these pieces on, you know, the door belt molding, the belt molding, and the tail panel trim. It's just ridiculous having to drive back and forth to hardware store or house wherever just to get all the little parts we need and we also did go ahead and paint this intersection here black that's supposed to be black for the headlights 
Not sure if I like it. I miss seeing the aluminum radiator, but that's how it's supposed to be. We're not doing no concourse Mark Warman restoration. It's just going to be a nice, fun driver for Dad. But anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I have kind of enjoyed my time filming this one. This one's just been an adder pain in my ass. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.